Sarah Han here. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to place an image on the screen using the UI image view. So let's go ahead and open up Xcode. And we're going to create a new Xcode project. This is going to be a view-based application, product iPhone. Go ahead and choose that. We want to call this project UI image view. Okay. Now, before we start coding, we want to drag some images in here. Now, I have two images. One is a puppy JPEG. The other is a tiger PNG. The ti picture of the tiger has uh, an alpha channel, which the background's cut out. Um, so grab both of those images, and you want to place them in your resource, resource folder. Um, we want to select Copy Items into Destination. Uh, what that'll do is copy the files into your project folder. If you didn't click that, it would just uh, link them. So if you move the project file around, uh, the links could get broken and the files will no longer be part of the project. Um, so now that we have those two images, our puppy and our tiger, um, we now all the, the rest of the code will all take place in the UI image view view controller.m file. We're not going to use the header file for this. Uh, and we want to, in the dot m file, we want to scroll down to the function view did load. Now, view did load, that gets called every time your project loads. Um, so any, any code we place into this will get triggered when your application launches. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is put that puppy image in there. Uh, so I'm going to UI image view and I'm going to call the first image, let's call it my image. Uh, I want to make that equal to two square brackets UI image view and allocate. We want to allocate memory for that. Uh, and then we want to initialize that init with image. And the image we want to init, initiate it with is going to be the puppy image. We have to do UI image and then image named. I'm just going to bring this down a line so we can see it. Um, now this has to be the, the uh, we have to use the file name that we brought in here. So we have puppy JPEG and tiger JPEG. So we're going to put the puppy uh, image in here. All right, so at sign and puppy dot JPEG. All right, so what we did here is we created a new UI image view, called it my image. Then we uh, set aside it for memory by allocating memory. Then we initialized it with an image. And the image we initialized it with is the image named puppy.jpg. So now that we've done that, not, nothing's on the stage yet. We have to add it to the view. Um, and to do that, we use a function called um, self, which is referring to this class, and then the view that's, that's uh, in the class. Uh, add subview my image. Close square bracket. And, oh, it keeps jumping. And then if we build and run, we should see the puppy. Oh, we got errors. Oh, I forgot to put the closed brackets on these. And there we go. So there's our puppy. We got the one image. Now we're going to place the tiger on top. Now remember the tiger had a, a transparent PNG. So the background should be knocked out for that. Um, so we want to do the same process again. UI image view and call this my image two equals UI image view. Uh, we need to allocate memory for this image. Then we want to do init with image UI image and the name of the image, image named, and this one is called Tiger for me. Oh. Ti 
vinegar dot png two square brackets all right and now so we've created a tiger image but now we need to do the same thing and place it on the stage so it's self dot view we're adding it to the view and add sub view and we're adding my image to this time Now build and run. As long as there's no errors, we should see the tiger on top. So there we go, our puppy and then the tiger's on top. But let's say we want to move the tiger to a different location or we want to change the, the size of the tiger. If we want to move the location of, of image two, so the tiger's image two, we say my image two, and then you, if you hold down, if you press dot and then hit escape, you'll get a list of all the properties for a, an image view. We want to move the tiger to a new location. And to set that location, we have to use the center um, property. Now center property takes a point. It's gonna be CG point make, and it takes an X and a Y. So the X goes over left and right, and the Y is up and down. Um, so we want to move the tiger over to 150x and then we'll move it down 200 pixels and those numbers are in pixels. So now when we build and run our tiger should have moved over 150 pixels and down 200 pixels. Let's see and there you go now the tiger is in a different location. But now our tiger is, is too big so we want to make our tiger smaller and the way to do that is to add a, another property called frame. Now the frame property takes CG uh, rect make. Now this function it takes a, an X and a Y for the, the starting point of the rectangle and then it takes a width and a height for the size. So we'll start at 0, 0 and then we want the width to be 50 and the height to be 25. So our tiger is going to fit in a rectangle that's only 50 pixels wide and 25 pixels high. So let's build and run. And see how small that is. And it also warped the, the shape of the tiger. Um, now if you'll notice the move, the placement of the tiger got messed up, and it's because we did center first and then frame second. If we copy center and then paste it below, it'll first it'll set the tiger in a frame of a 50 wide and 25 high, and then it'll move it. So let's build and run again, and the tiger should have moved. And there it is. Now the tiger is in the middle. It's so small in there. Uh, the only remaining thing is you won't always want to uh, release these objects from memory. So we do image release. And image two. Okay, great. So that's my that's the uh, UI image view. Uh, we talked about UI image view. And we talked about CG rectangles and how to make points and move objects around on the screen.